Loving the new modifications. Yeah, yeah. Welcome back to my channel. I have been doing a few mods. In this video, I wanted to talk to you guys about two, three more mods that I did. I got a new exhaust fender eliminator and I did some modification to the fender eliminator so that I can use my OEM signals. So let's get into it. I got a new exhaust because my bike was a little quiet. So I wanted to give her some noise. So let's open it up. Here she is. That's my office space in the background. So disregard all that. But this is everything that came in the box for the install. I will not be installing this myself. I'm taking it to Honda so that they can put it on because I didn't want anything to go wrong. And I'm also installing this fender eliminator. This I'm gonna do it myself. I'm gonna attempt to put on the plate light as well. Now that I've gotten the exhaust put on, I have to work on the fender. So let's eliminate that thing, shall we? My hair looks a hot mess right now. I'm getting ready for a trip. And my trip is actually tomorrow, but I couldn't wait to do this because I was just really, 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 really excited. So let's get this done. I'm just checking the tops and bottoms, the tops and bottom of the um, fender to see what size what size um tools fit now i'm looking for the lights so before you do this just make sure the bike is off because <laughs> you don't want to have them on when you're unplugging the lights i'm unplugging the lights to change everything and they just have these little tabs on it that you lift and flip so let me do that and acrylics and gel nails are not for this i have an overlay so yeah all out. Whew, everything is separated and all of the lights are detached so here's what they look like headlight plate light and um turn signals all right y'all i got the fender off now, I gotta put the eliminator on. I'm gonna say this, getting the screws that um, start and side of the trunk, getting those cracked, oh my God. I don't know why <laughs> they felt so tight on there, but I got them out. So that part is done. Now I have to install the eliminator. And I almost forgot. I do want to keep my turn signals, so um, I have to take them off of here. I know y'all don't want to watch me unscrew this, so I'll be back when I get the turn signals off. This is what the Fender Eliminator looks like. It looks so much cleaner. I love it. I had a mishap and Blew a fuse trying to put on the plate light. So yeah, I guess everything will be done before my vacation. So I will attempt to fix that when I get back. Okay, so I came in the house to do this part. All I did was, this is the fender eliminator. I removed all of these screws, but this one was really hard and stripped, so I couldn't get it off. This is the screw that stuck. And in order to get to the lights, because this is where the lights were sitting, I had to move this over just to make space to get the screw that was there out. And I pulled the light out there. When I pulled the light out, this piece was right there where those two holes are that's where these were and the light sat on the outside 
on this piece right here. So I was able to get the lights off and now I have to see how to close this part off because this just doesn't seem like it's supposed to be open like that up against the um, fender eliminator, but I do want to keep my old lights. So let's see what happens. All right, I got the signals on. Only problem though is this. Like that ain't gonna work. And I had to put like bolts and stuff together to keep this on so i have to go to the store and get shorter screws because that is the problem like i said earlier this thing goes on the screws the screw was about as long as this part and went in this part so i need screws that are a lot shorter the piece that shorted my bike is this the plate light this little thing shorted my bike i went to see someone that installed it for me properly and it's all good now this is for my lights i installed the oem lights to my um, fender eliminator and the oem lights are open when you take them like the bottom is exposed when you take them off of the oem fender so i got these oem rubber mounts to put on the end of there as you can see there's the screw part and then there's the wire the screw goes through one the wire goes through the other and it sits this way so what I'm going to do since I'm using a fender eliminator is, let me use this one. This is what the light sits on and it goes this way on the fender eliminator. So let me show you what it looks like. It would sit like this so that the um, turn signal can go on there. So what I'm going to have to do since there's only one hole on here, is probably cut this rubber mount so that this lip is in here since the lip does not work for the fender eliminator um, mount. I might insert this part into the inner part of the light depending on how um, much space there is. And I mean the inner part as in this part, the screw can go in there. The wire can go through that second hole and this hole, this open gap right here will be closed and covered. So I think I'm gonna use this piece. So I just have to use my utility knife to cut this part off so that it'll be flush up against, yikes, this piece. So it'll be something like this. I'm gonna leave it and see how I like it. And then I'll decide to cut it later, maybe. No, I'm gonna cut it now. Cause I don't like, I don't like that. That gap, I don't like that. So yeah. Okay, I have both of the parts cut. I was trying to see if I liked both ends cut to um, look better with the mount, I think I like it like this though. These are OEM parts, like these things that I cut off. All of them are OEM, but they are OEM parts that I bought because I didn't want to alter any of the ones that came on the bike, just in case I decide to sell it with all of the OEM parts. So I found these on eBay at this place. So the piece I um and putting on as the cover of the light i had to alter a little bit because it has like little slits in it but i had to put a little slit in the front two in the back because the inside of the light has 
something right there, something on the back. And after I put it on, this is what it looks like. So I'm gonna push it down a little bit and use Sugru to seal it. So let's see how that goes. This is Sugru. I used it to make the mount for my camera that I put on my windscreen. And I'll show y'all that set up at another date. But <laughs> um, this is basically moldable glue. You can shape it into any shape that you want and it dries and stays in that shape. So this is what I'm gonna use to seal around the um, signal mount. Okay, so now I just wanna show you how I use the Sugru. It was just as a seal between the mount and the light. I decided to keep the um, washers on the back. I have three little ones, two big ones at the top, one big one at the bottom and a thick one right there. The screw that I have in there does not come in a shorter size. So at a later date, I might take that screw like the, hopefully I can get y'all to see it. Oh, it's not gonna clear up. Well, this screw right there, um, I might get it cut down so I don't have to use so many washers. This is how she looks now. And I will be doing a video next on these. So stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm really loving the new modifications. As mentioned, I will talk about the new decals that are on my bike because they are not the ones that I had on there before. So I'm gonna get into that on my next video. Stay tuned, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for being here for another one of my videos and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.